and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Rebels. I'm Jaden. <laughs> and I'm Chance. So first up, remember, there's a blood drive on Thursday. If you want to donate, sign up at the NHS Red Cross table during lunch this week in the courtyard. Be sure to return your signed permission slip. 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 <laughs> Since we don't have too many announcements, let's go ahead and roll today's teacher interview. I didn't do all this. You didn't shoot anybody? My name's Doug Hanson. I'm the Lawn Public Safety Instructor here at Walden Grove High School. Uh, it's a dual enrollment course with Pima Community College as well. I wanted to become a teacher. Actually, I've, I've been teaching pretty much my entire career, uh, even, even when I was with the Bureau. But I always traveled all around the world. And I got, while I still love seeing new places, I got tired of traveling. So when they gave me the opportunity to teach here at Walden Grove and teach what I know how to do, but my days of doing it is, is somewhat over, I jumped at the chance because they gave me the opportunity to not just teach here, but to create a program from the ground up in something that I truly believe in. When I was a little kid, I wanted to be a barber. I actually wanted to be a barber because I had a, a favorite uncle that was a barber. And I was at a family reunion, reunion one day, and um, I was introduced to a great aunt. The great aunt was the first female police officer on the Ogden City, Utah Police Department, and the first female investigator or detective on the Ogden Police Department. And when I was introduced to her and I was told that that's what her job was, the truth is I looked at her and my first things out of my mouth was, uh-uh, you're a girl, you can't do something like that. And she laughed and she showed me her badge. And when I saw the badge, that was, that was the most amazing thing that I'd ever seen. And so that's what I decided. I, when I decided, that's what I want to do. And I was in third grade and I had a teacher that, that had us write out, what are you going to be when you grow up? So I wrote out that I was going to be a secret agent for the FBI. Not a special agent, I was going to be a secret agent for the FBI. And that I had a great aunt that could teach me how to do it after school. And I still have that letter, that, that writing that I did when I was in third grade and I've got it uh, framed next to my letter of appointment to the FBI. Actually, I was overseas in Iraq and when I retired from the FBI, I'd been retired for about three days when I got a phone call saying, we got a job for you. Um, and I was offered the opportunity to go and train the Marines how to be investigators, not just go in there and, and fight a war, because the war was over. Now it was time to put the individuals that had caused the most damage in, in prison and give them their, their day in court. So I started training the Marines, training them how to be investigators, went over to Iraq to run nine investigative teams over there. We did, we had a, I want to say we had a great time. We, we had a great, all of those teams were wonderful. They worked really hard. They worked exceptionally well together. Within the next five years, I'm guessing that, that I will be completely retired and going out and seeing the grandkids and seeing the, the kids. Uh, within, over the next three years, my whole idea when they offered me the opportunity to set up this program was to develop it, get the equipment, get the lesson plans, get everything put together so that somebody could come in and take my place and not have to reinvent the wheel. The program started out with, with five classes. All of them were year one classes. Because we, I mean, obviously it was, it was our first year. Then we started out with, with five classes. We teach, we start out with, with the basics. So in our year one, it's a two year program. We do have a third year that's a specialty year. But, but in order to complete the program, it's, it's a two year completion. So they come in in year one, they learn the history of law enforcement, how law enforcement came to be, how it came to be here in the United States, why it came to the United States, why we, why those in law enforcement do what they do, the different eras of law enforcement, how those different eras changed, how we look at things in law enforcement. And then we go into year two. Year two is a dual enrollment class with Pima Community College. So the first semester they get 
it's it's criminal law. Excuse me, it's it's criminal justice, and they they get the uh, they get three years of credit from Pima Community College with basically the same thing that I would be teaching in year two anyway. Then the second semester they go to 109, which is criminal law, and it's that's when we delve more into the law itself and how the law affects. Uh, defendants, how it affects the accused, how it affects the victim, how it affects society as a whole. Um, if they do the year three, then they get up to six more college credit hours. So they can walk away from, from our program with 12 college credit hours. We've got, we've got two patrol cars now so that we can practice car stops, we can practice uh, high risk traffic stops. We've got a Milo Farms training system that, that works literally strictly with judgment because we want our students to realize that when it comes to law enforcement your gun should be the last thing you ever think about first thing you show up with your badge that settles a lot of situation if it doesn't then it's your command presence and yet what we're trying to get the students to understand is to use that judgment the two things that we have that is a great advantage to us is we have a brain and we have our mouths so we think about what to say we think about uh, what to say and that will alleviate a lot of things. It will help us to to um, de-escalate situations so that we never have to go to the gun. Then, taking somebody's life is the hardest decision anybody will ever have to make. Even if they deserve it, it's still an extremely hard decision. So if you don't have to, let's train you to the point where you're able to use your brain, you're able to use your mouth, you're able to use your physical abilities to prevent you from having to take somebody's life. Fantastic work. <laughs> oh, here's some great news for all you seniors. There are several scholarships available for just Walden seniors. Check out the counseling hallway or the Walden Grove Counseling website. Registration, Registration for, for summer, summer school, school is underway. underway. There are some summer school courses available for students who need to make up credits or for those who wish to get ahead, I need to make up something. If you have any questions or would like to register, please see your counselor or DeFazio in room 1167. The Black Student Union is hosting its monthly kickback meeting on the 28th, that's this Thursday. We will also be discussing our new club apparel and fundraisers. If you are interested in joining BSU, come see us during the meeting. This Friday lunch will be Provided. If you're in, have been a part of, or will be a part of the German program next school year, please attend the German American Exchange Study Program meeting tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the Wolf Den. <laughs> We're looking for students who are interested in hosting a German student and traveling to Germany. Parents and students are welcome to attend. Student council applications for next year are out. Stop by the front office or see Mr. Rodriguez to pick one up. Now birthdays! Make sure you wish Alyssa Bates, Alexis Garbo, Elizabeth Pintado a happy birthday. Happy Red Wolves! Have a good one, Red Wolves. Do Later. Please. You're right, Carlos. Roll the tape. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna will. If you're in, if you, if you're, what? Pause. Oh, oh. Fantastic work. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, who wish to get If you have ahead. any questions, would like to register, please see your counselor or Mr. DeFazio in room. Oh, I'm back. The thing is monthly. <laughs> Stop. We will also be discussing our new club apparel <laughs> and fundraisers. If you are interested in joining BSU, come see the meeting this Friday. Lunch will be provided. That was your part, by the way. If you're in, have, have a been a part <laughs> of or Mercy, Mr. Rodriguez to pick up, pick one up. Just the one. Just yeah, just Carlos. single.